Hunter, what you've got there is the latest in custom alloy, handcrafted, magically protected personal protective gear. Yes, thanks to the symbiote sample young Mr. Parker recovered, we were able to isolate the alien energy signature that appeared to be causing you so much trouble. With this armor, you should now be able to get close enough to Venom to take him down. This time without, you know, exploding. It feels good. Now just get me back to New York and I will handle the rest. Hunter, hey listen. If you need any chafing advice for your new armor, come see me, okay? Rest easy, Spider-Man. I have dealt with the unknowable before. Yes, but have you ever worn clothes with their own appetite? I know symbiotic alien goop can seem like a cool idea, but take it from me. Not worth it one bit. The symbiote gets in your brain and makes you do things you'd never ordinarily do. I am no stranger to disembodied voices whispering their desires in my mind. I was raised in a castle filled with ghosts, cursed grimoires, and unfettered cauldron access. The symbiote is a little more complicated than run-of-the-mill hauntings. When the goop gets hangry, it goes on a devouring spree, and its favorite snack is human beings. Midtown would be a sumptuous buffet. Have some faith in me, Peter Parker. I will not be swayed by the suit. Oh, I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about the wardrobe from outer space. I guess there's no other way, huh? Only this suit can penetrate the symbiote barrier around the Sanctum. Yeah, I hear that too. What sits worse with me? The Sanctum Sanctorum is wearing a symbiote. Alien-possessed architecture gives me the extra creeps. Both Stark and Doctor Strange invested serious time and effort into making the symbiote suit as safe as possible. Magic and science working together is a dream come true. Depending on who you ask, Tony Stark hasn't always been one of the good guys. Some of his inventions might have done more harm than good. I honestly think that's why he gave us these sparks for free. That's not my theory, by the way. Just something I heard on the internet. And from Ileana, and Nico. Oh, and I think Strange muttered it under his breath once. I was unaware of all of that. Don't even get me started on Doctor Strange's meddling with the multiverse. But you're right, Hunter. There is no way this could possibly backfire. If it does, Spider-Man, we will deal with the repercussions as a team. Or get eaten by a symbiote wearing Sanctum Sanctorum as a team. Just be careful wearing that extraterrestrial tracksuit, Hunter. Last thing we want is for you to turn against us. Thank you for your concern, Spider-Man. Thanks for hearing me out, Hunter.